Oh. I literally saw you look at it and then you went. Well, look, yes. I was like me because you're wrong. <laughs> Way to jump. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Just come to the shops because I've made an order to click and collect some new earphones. I don't know if I've ever said this on YouTube. I think I posted it on my Instagram story, but I've been using my Sony headphones to run in, which are fine. I think I sometimes I like running in headphones and sometimes I don't. They do tend to get very sweaty and they kind of, they honestly stink at the moment because they're leather, they soak up, but they, they've been fine. But the reason I've been using those is because I had some power beats which I loved for running however Charlie has chewed them I just haven't gotten around to getting a new pair because they are quite expensive but they are really really good especially since I do run often yeah I've decided to get actually a different version today because the ones that go over your ears they can kind of be uncomfortable to wear if I'm wearing sunglasses because they kind of rub so these are just the ones that go like directly in your ear like a little earbud um so I'm gonna go pick those up from Apple I love doing like a click and collect from Apple because it's so easy it's so quick, that's what we're doing. Before we continue with this vlog, I wanted to thank our sponsor, which is Princess Polly. By the way, this is Charlie's new Mega Com. If you're familiar with Coms, this is the biggest one, and she loves it. There you go, that's yours. I'm going to show you some pieces that I recently picked up from their website. You guys definitely know the drill by now. My code for this month is Connor, and they'll get you 20% off. Just double check that. Yes, Connor will get you 20% off the website. Also, don't mind the pimple cream. That's really adding to the aesthetic. First up, we have a little set. I feel like I'm truly entering my skirt era, specifically my long skirt era. Because once upon a time, I thought that I could not wear long things. I've said this before. Because I'm quite short, I always thought I can't wear long things, which is not the case at all. And I've been eyeing this off for a while. They do have it in white and black, I believe. But I thought, let's just go all out and get this really, really pretty blue color. I love this because it's super flowy. It's also lined, so it's not going to be see-through or anything like that. It's very, very opaque. Got an elasticated waistband like that. It's just so pretty and flowy. This on me doesn't even hit the floor. It kind of hits me at my ankles. Honestly, the perfect maxi length. So I think if you were taller, it might be more of a midi length. Are you okay? I'm trying to feel. Has it gone under the chair? Oh no. Let me get that. Sorry if it's windy. The top is like a little bando situation like this. I would say I probably could have sized up in this personally, just for a little bit more room in the top, but it does have that like elasticated backing. It does have a bit of wiggle room and it has some of that like gel. What is that called? Stuff to help it stick. Oh, and it does come with straps. So if you do want to attach straps, but I love this and I love how my tattoo kind of peeks through the middle as well. I'm stressed that I'm not in the what is my necklace doing? I am so excited to wear this when it gets a little bit warmer, which low key is happening. Next, I picked up this really cute little set. I love a good short sleeve shirt and pants set. I love the pattern of this. It reminds me so much of my bedspread. It's quite literally the exact same thing. I love the edging on it. It's like nice and oversized, flowy. This is exactly the type of thing that I will wear every single day because this is just so up my alley. They have a lot of sets kind of in this realm on the website at the moment. I just live in stuff like this. I feel like you'll either love or hate that. <laughs> Next, I got this gorgeous blazer. It is absolutely stunning. I've been really trying to wear blazers more lately because I feel like I always think in my head that I need to wear them to a fancy occasion or a special occasion, which is definitely not the case. You can easily pop on a blazer with jeans and a top. It just elevates the outfit a little bit. I have a black and I have almost like a gray color, but this is more of like a tan camel color. 
and I think it's just stunning. Next, I have this top, which is quite literally impossible to show you off the hanger, but it's a cowl neck. I think it's one of the most flattering necklines you can get. And this pretty much has no back, so you kind of tie it up with little straps here, and it's like a halter neck, and it kind of just like flaps down <laughs> your front. And I love this. I think it's really, really dressy. I've been really getting into the whole no back moment. I feel like a lot of the pieces I've been getting lately have been quite backless, and I think this will be such like a perfect little summer going out top you could pair it with like a little mini skirt or even a longer skirt whatever floats you boat and it's kind of in that really pretty like slinky material speaking of skirts I've been absolutely in love with this I find the fit of this to be really really flattering because it doesn't have a super thick waistband if you can see there like it's very very thin I think this is just so pretty and I've been pairing this with so many things lately it does have lining as well like the blue one I just think it's so pretty they have it in black as well and the next I have this top which is a little bit hard to show you off the hanger it's kind of like a little black singlet but the back of it is almost like a big shoelace <laughs> I feel like that's the best way I can describe it so it kind of just like zigzags across your back it's a very simple top with like a twist business in the front party in the back you know i think it's so simple but it's really really cute as well and everything's kind of adjustable because you can tighten the straps however tight you want them and then finally i picked up this really cute little headband i've been wearing headbands a little bit more lately and i really really like it it's got like a little flower print on it it looks a bit funny with my hair kind of up like this i think it's so cute I'm pretty sure that's everything. Just a quick one today. Also, this jumper is from Princess Polly as well. This is honestly one of my most worn jumpers. Elise and I both kind of share this. We wear it all the time. Um, and I definitely wear it on days that are not Sunday. What are you going to do? Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this vlog. Again, you can use my code Connor and that'll get you 20% off the website. And let's get back into the vlog. Charlie, what's up? <laughs> Win last time? Yeah, we won last time. Yeah. Wasn't it recent? Was it what recent? That they versed the Wallabies. Last weekend. And they're doing it again? Yes, the Bledisloe Cup. So the Bledisloe Cup's played within the Rugby Championship. The Bledisloe Cup's just between us and those. Between just Australia and New Zealand? Yes, ma'am. Oh, like a state of origin? Uh, kind of, yeah. How many games do they play? Two, two or three. Surely it's three, because what if they draw? Good afternoon, happy Sunday. I've got to be honest with you, I'm having a very, very uneventful period of my life right now. And that makes it kind of hard to vlog, even though most of the time I vlog very mundane things. I do find it hard to vlog when I don't really have anything going on. And we're just in a very boring phase of life right now. The plan this morning was to go for a run, but it did start raining. And it actually has been quite an eventful morning, despite everything I just said. But we are about to take Charlie for a walk. I'm just spraying my hair with some rosemary water. It got so much darker this time around than last time. I also squeezed a pimple. <clears throat> Brush that through. This is the rosemary oil that I use. Um, I saw it on TikTok. I got it on Amazon. It says rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil. And I just kind of spread it all around. <laughs> and then you're supposed to massage it in. I probably should do it for longer than I do. I'm doing what I can. I've always had like sparse hair here and I've always had like a lot of baby hair like this. Um, it's not breakage. Well, it might be breakage, but I've literally had that my entire life. It's always been there. Baby hair that's like, looks like breakage. So I don't know if I can ever make that actually grow out. Who knows? I think it's, um, what's the word? Genetics. So my mom has the exact same face shape and head shape as me, so. 
I'd say definitely genetics. I've also been to the gym four times this week just gone, which I'm very proud of myself for. So I hope I can keep this good streak going. We are in operation. Get back into the gym. I'm in the most like funny looking outfit. I have to wear runners when I go for a walk because I did it last time and now I've got a big blister on my toe. Ask why was my not happy with it. I got one for you. I'm ramping up a little bit. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with H L. H L. See you at the end of the car ride. <laughs> Am I gonna know what this is? Well, no, 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 no. I I'm gonna say eighty percent. It's it's. Oh, I don't know things to do. I don't know if it's cars. a coin flip. No, but that's why you have the rule of saying, like, what, I don't know what this is called, you know? Like, or, what is this? Heating lamp. Uh, Wait, what? I don't know. A heating lamp. I probably don't know what this is. I would hope so. I would hope you know what this is. I, I, don't, I can't tell you why you should know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, H it'd be a bit of a worry if you got into trouble. H, I don't know. HL? Just admit defeat. And that's one point. <laughs> What is it? Uh, are you saying you I, give up? Yes. Hazard lights. Oh. Ah, uh, it's actually my turn again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, it's not your turn. I spy with my winning eye something beginning with... I'm just picking, thank you. Something beginning with S. S? Seat? No way, why would I pick seat? Uh, <laughs> is it seat? No! Oh, screen? No. Seat belt. Oh, I want to see it. SB, brother. Uh, it's in the car? It's in the car. I I am a professional ice wide player. I would not deviate from the rules. Shirt? <laughs> screen? I <laughs> said Shirt. You've said three things, <laughs> and two of the three things you've repeated. Nothing starts with S. I know. There is nothing that starts with S. What? You've said three things, <laughs> and two of the things you've repeated. I think I give up, because we need to go in the gym. I mean, the gym's... Shade? The, no. Ugh. The gym's always going to be there. S I don't know. Side? Side. <laughs> Honestly, give up? Yeah. It's good to get a win on a Monday. <laughs> Straw. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's take it to the bank. <laughs> Happy Monday. We're about to go into the gym. This will be kind of week two of getting back on track with the gym. We're going to be doing a leg day today, it, which should be all right. I am kind of like coming up to that near the period phase where I should be feeling quite weak and tired. But we'll see how we go. Let's do this thing. Daddy. 
scrub dad. My it's, Sunday jumper. I would have said SD if oh. it was scrub dad. Is it my jumper? I think I give up. Shaker. Oh. Ooh, I am. I am? Yeah. I am. Is it clearly two words? Yes. Immaculate. Yeah, that's what it starts with. <laughs> Immaculate minge. <laughs> Range hood. No. I'm just speaking out loud. Uh, stove top. No. Top shelf. No. Knife block. No. I am. I am. Is it stupid? Nah, it's not stupid. I can it's feel about it. Are you staring at it? Uh, it's about as stupid as has in life. Ice maker. I feel like that doesn't count because it's inside the fridge. I would argue that it's on the front of the no, fridge. No, I feel like it has to be an object. You're telling me the ice maker right there where you can put your hand on, touch, feel with labeling. <laughs> where does it say ice maker? It doesn't. Where does it say hazard lights? <laughs> Fair. Alright, last one. P. Pen. Pot. No. Phone. No. Phone case. It is not immaculate man. <laughs> An immaculate mint. <laughs> yeah. Such a poser. Yeah. Yeah, superstar. Is she just mint? <laughs> you know, where's your big one? Where's your big Kong? That's your little one. Is your big one outside? On your bed. Come on. On your bed. <gasps> Good girl. Yay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did it on camera. You're so good. Oh, you're so good. I don't know about anyone else, but I quite literally go to bed. 7.15. Last night, I'm pretty sure we were in bed at like 6.30. Like following or whatever for everybody is siding with the mother of Ari and Spongebob himself. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. show you I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities there could be a place for you and me and under the stars you pack up your car cause you're going far away from here mm -hmm. I wish I could saw but I never Happy Wednesday. It is 7.43. I'm on my way to take my car to get it serviced, which always feels so, I don't know. I always feel like I've done something wrong and the mechanic is gonna judge me, but it needs to be done. It's just one of those things. My boyfriend's actually behind me, so we're gonna go to the gym afterwards because obviously I will not have a car afterwards. But we're gonna do an upper body set. I'm so proud of myself. This is like the most consistent that I've been with the gym. I mentioned on my Instagram that I have been tracking uh, for the past like a couple weeks or so. I've been doing it really really well and I'm happy with how things are going so far which is cool. I will see you probably at the gym. I could tell you I don't think you believe I long I felt this way I'm begging you to stay yeah. And if I could show you I'd hope that you could see All the power Hello, we are back now. The gym was good. It was very hard, but I'm putting it down to my period is in like four days, so muscle strength, not there. Where is she? 
we get no. Quick shout out to these guys. These are the two serums that I've been like religiously using for the last couple months and I love them. They're the Kita Skin Mochi Skin Serum and Algae Super Serum. I had two like hormonal breakouts, but other than that, my skin has been really, really nice. I've also been using the Paula's Choice Exfoliant thingy. Sounds like acid. I'm about to pop on a tan. One of these has hyaluronic acid in it and I definitely should have my skin a little bit damp. Oopsie. But they're just so nice. Last week I slept in my tan, which I haven't done in the longest time. And I didn't like how it turned I didn't like how it turned out because I feel like you just have so much less control. I used I used the Loving Tan Platinum Tan, which is very, very intense. I think it's a little bit too intense for me, honestly. Even though it's a really, really nice tan and it's a beautiful colour. I think I'm just gonna stick to my good old two hour express, leave it on for four hours, three and a half even. Okay. The tanning pajamas are on. I always underestimate the power of how long editing takes. It honestly can feel like you've been editing for 20 minutes and it's been two hours. I have been doing that, but I'm gonna rearrange my wardrobe for a very specific reason. My boyfriend is moving in with me, moving into my house with Elise and her partner. So there'll be four of us living here now, which I definitely asked them beforehand if I was all right, of course. But everyone gets along really, really well, which is brilliant. Some of you might think maybe this is a little bit fast. We've actually been together for almost a year, I think. It's been 10 months, 10 and a half months. Our one year will be in October. So it just feels right. If you did ask me when I was single, like, would you recommend moving in with your partner before a year? I would say absolutely not. I probably still even recommend that to people because I do believe moving in with people can go really badly. It can just change the dynamic of the relationship so much. If you're not ready for that, it can be quite detrimental, but it just feels really, really right. I 110% believe this is my person. He is my soulmate. I've never actually introduced you to him on camera. And maybe soon, you know, it is coming up to a year now. So with the added addition of me now living with a boy, I need to make room for him. So mainly the wardrobe being the first thing I need to attend to. Luckily, he doesn't have a lot of stuff as in like furniture. It's mainly just clothing. Luckily, I do have another wardrobe in my beauty room, which does have something which does have something which does have a few things in it so my plan is to kind of give him this section i really hope i'm not coming across as like a selfish bitch right now but okay yeah i think like the top part here and then the bottom part the main thing i can take out are like jumpers because one we're gonna be in spring before you know it so I don't need them all in here is this a bad idea to do with tan on Possibly, but it's pretty, it's pretty dry. So let me make my bed first because that is unacceptable. I need to get a bigger fitted sheet because it's not big enough and that annoys me so much. I'm gonna move everything out that I know that I'm probably not gonna wear by the end of like this winter, you know? So. If I could show you, I'd hope that you would see all the possibilities. Okay, this is where we're at. I've left these like jumpers and stuff. That took so long to do. I'm glad it's done now. It's nice and clean. It reminds me of like when I first moved in and this was like completely empty. Hello, I just wanted to end off this vlog and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next. <laughs> See you in the next. <laughs> Bye-bye.